the General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper. The General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper is an unmanned aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. Developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems primarily for the United States Air Force, the MQ-9 and other UAs are referred to as remotely piloted vehicles slash aircraft by the USAF to indicate ground control by humans. The MQ-9 is a larger, heavier, more capable aircraft than the earlier General Atomics MQ-1 Predator and can be controlled by the same ground systems. The Reaper has a 950 shaft horsepower turboprop engine compared to the Predator's 115M. The greater power allows the Reaper to carry 15 times more ordnance payload and cruise at about three times the speed of the MQ-1. The aircraft is monitored and controlled, including weapons employment, by air crew in the ground control station. The MQ-9 is the first hunter-killer UAV designed for long-endurance, high-altitude surveillance. In 2006, Chief of Staff of the United States Air Force General T. Michael Mosley said, We've moved from using UAVs primarily in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance roles before Operation Iraqi Freedom to a true hunter-killer role with the Reaper. The USAF operated over 300 MQ-9 Reapers as of May 2021. Several MQ-9 aircraft have been retrofitted with equipment upgrades to improve performance in high-end combat situations, and all new MQ-9S will have those upgrades. 2035 is the projected end of the service life of the MQ-9 fleet. The average unit cost of an MQ-9 is estimated at $30 million in 2022 dollars. The Reaper is also used by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection and the militaries of several other countries. The MQ-9A has been further developed into the MQ-9B, which are referred to by General Atomics as Sky Guardian or Sea Guardian. MQ-9 Reaper crews stationed at bases such as Creech Air Force Base near Las Vegas, Nevada, can hunt for targets and observe terrain using multiple sensors, including a thermographic camera. One claim was that the onboard camera is able to rid a license plate from two miles away. An operator's command takes 1.2 seconds to reach the drone via satellite link. The MQ-9 is fitted with six stores pylons. The inner stores pylons can carry a maximum of 1,000, 500 pounds each and allow carriage of external fuel tanks. The mid-wing stores pylons can carry a maximum of 600 pounds each, while the outer stores pylons can carry a maximum of 200 pounds each. An MQ-9 with two 1,000 pound external fuel tanks and 1,000 pounds of munitions has an endurance of 42 hours. The Reaper has an endurance of 14 hours when fully loaded with munitions. A typical MQ-9 system consists of multiple aircraft, ground control station, communications equipment, maintenance spares, and personnel. A military flight crew includes a pilot, sensor operator, and mission intelligence coordinator. The aircraft is powered by a 950 horsepower turboprop with a maximum speed of about 260 knots and a cruising speed of 150 to 170 knots with a 66 feet wingspan and a maximum payload of 3,800 pounds. The MQ-9 can be armed with a variety of weaponry, including Hellfire missiles and 500 pounds laser-guided bomb units. Its endurance is 30 hours when conducting ISR missions, which decreases to 23 hours if it is carrying a full weapons load. The Reaper has a range of 1,000 mi and an operational altitude of 25,000 feet, which makes it especially useful for long-term loitering operations both for surveillance and support of ground troops. The Predator and Reaper were designed for military operations and not intended to operate among crowded airline traffic. The aircraft typically lack systems capable of complying with FAAC avoid regulations. In 2005, requests were made for MQ-9S to be used in search and rescue operations following Hurricane Katrina, but as there was no FAA authorization in place at the time, it was not used. On 18 May 2006, 
The Federal Aviation Administration issued a certificate of authorization allowing MQ-1 and MQ-9 UAs to fly in U.S. civil airspace to search for survivors of disaster. MQ-9 Reaper crews stationed at bases such as Creech Air Force Base near Las Vegas, Nevada can hunt for targets and observe terrain using multiple sensors, including a thermographic camera. One claim was that the onboard camera is able to read a license plate from two miles away. An operator's command takes 1.2 seconds to reach the drone via a satellite link. To the MQ-9 is fitted with MQ six stores pylons. The it's inner stores pylons can carry radiant. a maximum of 1,500 pounds each and allow carriage of external fuel tanks. The mid-wing stores pylons can carry a maximum of 600 pounds each, while the outer stores pylons can carry a maximum of 200 pounds each. An MQ-9 with two 1,000-pound external fuel tanks and 1,000 pounds of munitions has an endurance of 42 hours. The Reaper has an endurance of 14 hours when fully loaded with munitions. A typical MQ-9 system consists of multiple aircraft, ground control station, communications equipment, maintenance spares, and personnel. A military flight crew includes a pilot, sensor operator, and mission intelligence coordinator. The aircraft is powered by with a 66 feet wingspan and a maximum payload of 3,800 pounds, the MQ-9 can be armed with a variety of weaponry, including Hellfire missiles and 500 pounds laser-guided bomb units. Its endurance is 30 hours when conducting ISR missions, which decreases to 23 hours if it is carrying a full weapons load. The Reaper has a range of 1,000 mi and an operational altitude of 25,000 feet which makes it especially useful for long-term loitering operations, both for surveillance and support of ground troops. The Predator and Raper were designed for military operations and not intended to operate among crowded airline traffic. The aircraft typically lack systems capable of complying with FAAC and avoid regulations. In 2005, requests were made for MQ-9S to be used in search and rescue operations following Hurricane Katrina but as there was no FAA authorization in place at the time, it was not used. On 18 May 2006, the Federal Aviation Administration issued a certificate of authorization allowing MQ-1 and MQ-9 UAs to fly in U.S. civil airspace to search for survivors of disasters.